Introducing the challenger from Memphis, Tennessee at 228 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. And the champion from Minneapolis, Minnesota, 240 pounds, Rick Flair. This is a world championship match. One fall, 10-minute time limit. Jerry Calhoun, the referee. Well, I'll tell you, Davey, we have often said that on championship wrestling where the uh, unexpected can be expected, it happened today. Okay, we'll get it clear. One more comment uh, from Rick before we get it underway here. Yeah, Rick. Never let it be said that the world champion is not a fair man. Lawler is a big deal in this part of the country. He's a big deal in professional wrestling. But you see, his image was all Jerry Lawler because he never was in the ring with Ric Flair. So if Mr. Lawler wants to step out of this ring and walk back there before I embarrass him and before, really, he has to walk out of this television studio with his head between his legs, I'm going to give him an opportunity to do it. So why don't you make that clear to the audience and make that clear to Lawler. If you want... The easy way out, brother. Just get out of the ring, and I'll forget it. No, let's not forget it, please. Ten minutes, world champion. You really want ten minutes with a world champion? Well, you want ten minutes with Ric Flair? Daddy, you got it. Don't let Gus get on this, brother. Oh, no. We got it. Well, by golly, I'll tell you, I take my hat off to the champion in this respect. He didn't back up one minute. And, of course, neither did the king. Bell time and David here we go. Oh, world title match. NWA World Championship belt. On the desk in front of us here, it is at stake in a 10-minute time limit match as Lawler challenges Ric Flair. Rick takes Lawler down, face first, moves around, and Lawler squeezes out of it as Flair is right back over to the ropes. Get back. Come on, I'll get him back. Get him Side headlock, Flair moves around behind, takes that around in a uh, hammer position, but nice reversal from Lawler. Lance Russell and Dave Brown right at ringside with an unexpected uh, bout today and an extreme pleasure of having an NWA World Heavyweight Championship match. One fall, ten minutes. I said I never heard of a ten-minute championship match, but if Flair puts the uh, belt on the line, that's good enough for me. And I can tell you this, it is sure good enough for Lawler. Flair moves in, bangs him with that shoulder, takes it around and under. And Lawler gets off. Well, he didn't beat him in 30 seconds. No, that's true. He, uh... He was unable to do that. Of course, he never uh, he never yeah, said he, he would. Lawler said he probably yeah, could. Yeah. But uh, Lawler and Flair, a couple of well-matched wrestlers there. All right. I wonder if uh, I wonder if uh, Rick Flair has seen Jerry Lawler wrestle much. He said he'd seen him on TV before. He had heard, oh, Flair. Back on the ropes and shoves Lawler back away. When I get on the ropes, you move on. Get... Back in the center of the ring. Jerry Lawler with a headlock on the world champion, Ric Flair. Double wrist lock up top, and they're battling it, and Flair! The Lawler now coming back straight up. And he takes it into a standing side headlock. Flair gave it his best shot in trying to power his way out of it, but Lawler right with him every step of the way. Shoulders down. 
Lawler with the shoulders down briefly. Had no trouble in kicking back over. After Flair had rolled him up. Lawler hanging on to that headlock. As long as it's working, you can wear Flair down. That Flair rolls the shoulders down again. Count of one. Lawler can make Ric Flair use a lot of energy in trying to work his way out of this hole. He fires Lawler into the rope. Lawler not coming off of there. There lets him go by. Lawler ducks under. Reversal by Lawler. Dave, he's got Mr. Flair's uh, dander up a little bit, David. Dave, you're right. All right, we've got about... Uh, let's see, four minutes left. Four minutes left. Past the halfway mark, we've got about four minutes in time left to go, and Lawler and Flair. So uh, that becomes a very important item. Dave. Especially now, yeah, since we're past halfway mark. <laughs> Flair blisters him with a chop. <laughs> the king now. Ooh. He dropped down with the lower part of the leg. The referee said legal one, two, and Lawler kicked out of it. Lawler slipped the suplex. He's around behind on a sleeper with Flair. We have less than three minutes left in the time limit. And good night. Flair got the momentum forward and wanged into the ropes. Lawler went sliding right off and really hit his head on that floor. Outside the ring now, Flair going after Lawler on our studio floor. And we're down to the two-minute mark about on the uh, on the action. Yeah, right now, two minutes to go. Two minutes on the time limit. Lawler whipped in. Big elbow. Referee Jerry Calhoun reminding Flair about the fire driver, Dave, yeah. I believe. If you're right. Looks like that's what he was going and for. One, two, two, and Lawler again. Thought he had him that time. He was close, but Lawler able to break it just before the three count fell. A little under a minute and a half to go. About a minute and a half. Proud partisan for Lawler, obviously. Trying to cheer him on and get him going, but Flair is starting to really put the steam on him. Another two count. One minute. One minute. 60 seconds to go. Lawler banged down hard as Flair again dropped straight down. Mash in that forehead. The referee didn't call it. He looked awfully close to a knee in the forehead. Suplex. Flair straight up in the air. And Lawler. Crushed down on that mat at the 30-second mark. We've got 30 seconds to go. He's going for a figure four leg lock. He's got Lawler in it. And our time is winding down. That's it. Ten-minute time limit is up. That's all. So the figure four leg lock is going to go for naught, and the bout is going to end up in a draw, Dave. As... Flair will not let go. He gave up, didn't he? And 
the bout, which was an unexpected one for us here to see the King and Ric Flair going at it. But the 10 minute time limit, which was, a, no, he didn't give up on it. The time limit ran out. The 10 minute time limit ran out on it. And it is a draw. It, we played by your rules. Now we play by mine. Five more minutes. Five more. Hey, no questions. The world champion wants five more minutes. If the world champion wants, the world champion can. Uh, I guess we have five more minutes. Huh? Referee said he didn't know. Okay, well, we're off and running on it. Because Flair going after Lawler. This is an extended uh, portion, a, another match getting underway as Ric Flair says, I want five more minutes. And Flair pounding on Lawler. Lawler taking those shots from Ric Flair. He's driven back into the corner and the King right now being brutalized. Look out. There's that Lawler move, and he nails Flair. Lawler knuckling Ric Flair in this extra five minutes. Is Flair holding on, Dave? over that ring post into the monitor and all the floor and Flair slam. Look at Lawler go to town. Boom. Flair taking a breather out here, getting out of the ring. After Lawler, it's been all Lawler in this uh, second five minutes. Flair grabs his, uh, his belt heads out of here. Ric Flair after me. Waller telling referee Jerry Calhoun that he left, count him out of it. And Jerry is right, he did pick up his belt and left. He's counted out of the world heavyweight champion, right? Tell you, I just really don't belt. know. I he Jerry. left the ring. He's counted out. I'm the champion. I I don't know. Of course, that is nothing new. I have known what's happened here since uh, we all got started in this. Rick Flair came out here. I, I tell you what, we're gonna have to. I'm do. the champion. That's what we gotta do. Jerry, I don't know, but get the belt. I gotta take a break, and maybe we'll find out. Listen, see if you can uh, get Eddie Marlin for me during this break. And let me see if we can get this thing straightened out. We're going to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. And it's, uh, yeah, Eddie. We've got to get this uh, cleared up on the thing because Flair picked up the belt and left in here. And uh, it would seem to me that that would make Lawler the uh, world heavyweight champion. Well, it's real confusing to everybody except Ric Flair. I went back and talked to him, and he said, what's the big deal? He said, show me the contract for today's title match and I'll produce the belt. So without his word, it wasn't a title match. So he said, we had to have a contract. We didn't have a contract. He hey, is right here. Just a minute, brother. Produce the contract. Well, show me a contract. I said I wrestled for the world championship. Show it to me. You're a big deal in this town. You're a big man. Show me a contract. I don't have a you don't know, like it doesn't exist. You think you're talking to some country hick? Like this town's made out of, no. you're talking to the world champion, we brother. We took you for your word. That's it, all. Well, I'll tell you what, take me for this, brother. You will never see the day that I wrestled Jerry Lawler. And you know why? I'll tell you why. Don't crowd me. Get in here, big man. This seems to be the only man in the whole town that I can look in the eye and believe. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I hear what you're saying. He's like me. He likes nice clothes, he likes the good life, he likes the soft touch of a pretty woman, and he likes money. So let me show you something, brother. 
Don't you walk away either. I don't care if you're a multi-millionaire, Eddie Marlin. I'm a multi-millionaire, too. Just a minute, partner. I presume, then, that officially means that the title did not change hands. It was no title match. Who is wasting it around? You're not damn well to change hands. Okay. It's not the waste of the world champion, brother. All right. Well, you you know, I want to tell you something. I came out here out of the goodness of my heart. I flew my little jet in here out of the goodness of my heart. And you country bumpkins, you rednecks, tried to put something over on Mr. Cool. No way, Daddy. Not today, anyway. What's your name? What is happening here? We, uh... Hey. Don't you worry. When I turn around, I'll tell you what's happening. Well, in case you just joined us, this is the world heavyweight champ, uh, Rick Flair, who uh, has called this meeting uh, with Jimmy Hart out here. Now, all right. My personal check. And, brother, if you don't think this is as good as gold, call anywhere in the country. Anywhere. I got more money and more banks around the United States than any man alive. $10,000. You know what this is for? Because I want you to bring me the blood and the sweat and the guts of Jerry Lawler. And you, for trying to intimidate me, for trying to pull something off, are going to have to watch the slow destruction of your big time hero. You understand what I'm telling you? I don't care if you're a multi-millionaire. You don't. Yeah, well, take this and take this. It's my word. $10,000, brother. I'll sign the check the day you deliver to me a piece of Jerry Lawler. And I don't care whether you wrap it up, whether you put it in a box. I don't care. I want to hear that Lawler's got a broken leg. I want to hear he's got a broken arm. I want to hear he's got a broken neck. I want to hear Jerry Lawler is no longer a professional wrestler. And I'll tell you what, Daddy, because you're the man you are, that 10000 it's just openers. Now you, Mr. Russell, I complimented you. I said you were a real man. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I can't help but believe deep down inside you didn't have something to do with this. And because you think Jerry Lawler is a big deal, you're going to have the privilege of watching this too. Because we're going to bring in men from all over the world. And so keep your mouth shut, brother, when I'm talking. Uh, and Jerry Lawler, if you're out there, Remember this, brother. You are going to belong to me as a present from this man right here. Let me say one thing, baby. For ten thousand dollars, he might not even be alive the time you get back, baby. For ten grand, for ten grand, woo! Yeah, you came to the right one when you went to heart. That's for a fact. Let me tell you something. What comes out of my mouth is as good as gold. Put it in the bank. What I can't go out and get myself, I buy. And I'm buying Jerry Lawler's hide. I'm going to be very polite. Lawler, laugh, joke about this, but remember one thing. You've never come up against Ric Flair. And what I want, I get. You remember it, and you remind these people in Memphis, Tennessee, there's only one big daddy, and it's Ric Flair. Okay, well, we heard it from the... Uh from the world's champion in a rather unchampionship like gesture getting Jimmy Hart out of here. He, in fact, did give him a check for $10,000. It's not signed, and he said he will sign it at such appropriate time as he has the evidence that Lawler is not, uh, not wrestling uh, anymore.